Hi, I'm Bruce Bouquet. I'm an Associate Professor of Mathematical Sciences here at NJIT. And it's that time of year when students are taking midterms, but everybody else is watching the World Series. For the last 10 years, I've been using the power of math to try to figure out which teams should win baseball games. This year, the model came out pretty good. We picked six of the playoff teams, six of the teams that made the playoffs. And in the first round of the playoffs, all four of those teams that the model found most likely to win actually won their series. The model takes into account how the batters perform during the season and during the last several seasons, how often they get singles, doubles, triples, home runs, outs, and how well the pitchers do at keeping the opposing runners off base. We put in the numbers for all the players. We considered who the starting pitchers should be in each game, and the model shows us that the Rangers have a 65% chance of winning the series, with the most likely outcome being that the Rangers win in five games. There's a 23% chance that the Rangers win in five games. But don't turn off your TVs just yet, because the chance of the Giants winning at 35%, well, their best hope is for the series to go seven games. There's a 14% chance for the Giants to win in seven games. So it looks like it's going to be a Texas World Series. For those of you like me who are Met fans or who aren't Rangers or Giants fans, let's all keep in mind that it's only about four months till spring training and a new season. So have a great day and may the power of math be with you.